Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salam ashraf al mursaleen Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad al Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Bima nadrakum wa nadrakum Sayyidiya Rasul Kareem, the Habib al Azim. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Ati Allah, ati Rasulu ulul amri minkum. Wa ana abdakul ajeezu da'eef wa miskeen as alam al jahal and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. InshaAllah a reminder from myself that in this way of taskiyah and the way of realities that Allah has a secret in everything and in understanding ourselves and in understanding the characteristics and why in testings and in relationships and work and every environment when an imtihan and a test comes, how Allah is going to extract a reality for us. So I'll talk to you so I can keep my focus, I can't talk to the camera. Let me see your face that I can, okay, inshaAllah. That what Allah brings from the reality of math. So when the haqqaiq that you're searching for from 36, so I want to know about the reality of the number 36. And when they talk about numbers, this has to do with Qur'an and the heavens. They're not interested in the numbers of me and you, our life, our birth, our, our birth date, our month. This, this is from dunya. Akhirah, and Malakut, when the servant is told that 36 is heart of Qur'an and they begin their tafakkur and contemplation, they look at the 36 and then Allah gives them then a number that this 36 in relation to the nine, which are the sultans. And that's why all of our teaching about the most powerful number, single digit number is nine. That from one, who awwal, nine, wal akhir. And this one through nine is the power of 19. 10 is one with a note. 11 is one with a one. So nine is the sultan of numbers. So in the sultanat, and to know the reality of Holy Quran, Surah Al Yaseen, is 36, you take, Allah makes us to learn division that take 36 divided by nine and what comes is a product. And in this way of reality, four is haqqaiq. So the subject was the 36. I was dividing it by a reality so that its truth would come out to me. So it means there must be a secret in this four. The four elements, the four khalifas, the four valves of the heart, many, many understandings. But in our personal relationship, Allah is using the same principle that you have a, an understanding of a character that Allah wants me to understand an issue. Ya musabib al asbab. That Allah causes a condition. There's an issue because in my imtihan and in my testings, Allah wants to test me to bring out a reality. Those whom are from Ahl Tafakkur, they have to contemplate that Ya Musabib al Asbab, that Allah is the one who brings a condition. So brings an incident. You have a fight with your spouse. The fight that comes out and the beginning of all the reactions, we'll call that the issue, like the 36. The fight that Allah is the one who causes, he, he writes for a condition to happen, that a spark will come. Then this is only about me, not about the spouse, not about anyone else because I'm on a path to my grave. I don't need to know the st your station, your grave, I need to know my grave. 
So when an issue happens in my life and I divide that by me, the resulting answer will come out of a characteristic. So I take the fight, I divide it by me, and what came out will be the result and that's why Allah will open a door if you understood what came out of you as a result of that imtahan. A condition happened in life, a fight between spouse, between children, between employer, it doesn't really matter. The fight, the situation was brought into my life, it came to me as a result, what happened? I became angered. I began to say things from my mouth. I began to say all these issues from my mouth. Allah wants that. What happened as a result of a test that came to you from the equal side? Not the issue that we fought. No, because Allah He would make any condition to happen. Because 99.9% .9 of the people are stuck on the issue that we fought because you talked in a bad way to me. But as soon as we started to fight, I started to use swear words, I curse you, scream at you, all the words I used at you, that's what Allah is concerned. Not that you guys started to fight. Musabib al-asbab is, of course Allah is going to ignite a situation, boom, hit it. As soon as it hit you, Allah wants you to study the reaction. Your reward is in the reaction and not the issue. But 99% of the people is now, why you said that to me? If you wouldn't have talked like this to me, we wouldn't have fought. I said, but you lost the focus. Allah is testing us. He wanted a situation in which we got angered. As a result, he wanted to see how do you react in this anger? Because the way of taski is not something simple. When Allah wants to bring something that's hidden within me and I don't even think it exists. So then the majority of people are stuck on the issue. Why you talk like me like that? Why you said like that to me? And there's no growth, there's no reality in that at all. That's where all humanity will argue, the issue. Why you did like that? No, it was your fault, you started like that. No, no, you started like that. Taskiyah comes and says, no, no, leave that whole thing, it doesn't matter. This person in your life, the more loved, the more easier it is for Allah to push your button. It can't be the mailman, you don't care what the mailman says. It's your children, loved ones, mothers, parents, relatives, somebody whom is Dear to you is the one Allah's pushing the button. He hit and a rocket goes. So then the taskiyah comes and teaches that when you got angry and you said one, two, three, four horrible things, Allah hold you to account, that's, that's the issue. Why you said these things like that? Because when He makes a condition and opens the door, not only the door of paradise, but the door to yourself. That these words you use when you fight, these things that we say when we fight and we angered, Allah wants those to be cleaned. Allah says, these words that you use when you become angry, if your words were bad, imagine what's in your heart is worse. Because maybe you say, no, I was just angry with you, I didn't mean to say that. But no tariqah comes and Allah is inspiring within our heart. No, no, as a matter of fact, Allah says it's far worse. Whatever they said from their mouth is nothing compared to what's really in their heart. And every time they get angry, the same words keep coming out. You're like this, you're like this, you're like this. No coincidence you say those things. It's what's in your heart is far more greater disrespect and anger for that person. So it's never the issue. That's why all humanity is on the wrong part of this equation. If you want the secret of 36, you don't just keep staring at 36. 
36 divided by 9 brings a secret of 4. So there's a secret in, the, in that reality. So your musabib al-asbab, Allah puts it, mufatha abwab is on the equation side. If you want the goal, you want the secret, you want the reality, it's on the other side with the equation. We got angered, got into a fight, and Allah trained you, don't say anything. You're, what you start to repeat, what you begin to say, how you're reacting, there's the reward. Doesn't matter what the person did, why you said like that, that's not important because Allah's bringing that condition and Allah wants you to reach a point in which your reaction is not like that. Your reaction is just to remain silent. Hmm, okay, angered because the person's angry. But the words that you're using, the phrases that you're saying, the expressions that are coming out, Allah showing the condition within the heart that you are on a path of taskiyah, you're on a path of goodness, you're on a path of good characteristics, then why all of these horrible things come out? Oh, because the person bothered me. No, 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 that's not the way the tariqah looks at it. Allah wrote the plan, Allah brought the condition, He wants to bring out a reward. Are you always going to fall back on all these bad issues that are coming out from your heart, coming out from your mouth? Or we take a path in which our life is to identify that. Mm. Once we identify and I said that, I said you're this, I said you're rotten you, you, with a friend. You, you may get into an argument and you say some rotten things, yeah, you think because you're like this, because you have this car, because you have like money, you have like this, like this. Once you identify it, okay, it's not the issue for me to worry about. Allah is going to make me to argue with anybody He wants me to argue with. When I identify what I was saying and I write that down, that's called accounting, muhasaba, muhasaba. So it means when we are the people of tafakkur, we stop, we realize Allah is going to test us. Every argument is going to bring out my contamination. When Allah bothered shaitan, he found he's not making sujood. Everything he did was from pride. One test from shaitan that bowed down, he said, no. It wasn't the argument that was important, but his tafakkur should have said that, oh, I'm not going to bow down. Then Allah would have pointed out, you know why you don't bow down? It's because you're jealous. He got a station you thought you were going to get. So if, we, if we're not identifying the right part of the formula, not the issue, why we got into argument, who cares why we got into argument, a dog could have been thrown into argument. But the reaction that you had, the words that you used, if you write those, that becomes your muhasaba. You write your reactions, you write the words that you use when I fought this person, when I argued with this person, these words will show your character defect. Majority of people have jealousy. So they use words that are, are you, you can tell those are jealous words, enmity. They wish they had what you had. Uh, all of these characteristics will come out with this muhasaba and accounting. The what words I use, I write that down, then I begin to meditate, why I said like this to this person? And Allah inspire your heart. These are words of jealousy. You're jealous of this person. Maybe they achieve something you didn't. Maybe they are something in your eyes that you're not. Whatever it is, Allah said, that's what's important. If you want to grow and you don't know that you have jealousy, you don't know that you have enmity, you don't know that you have pride, and you think it's, well, no, you talked to me wrong and therefore we're fighting. You didn't gain anything. Allah said, what are you going to do with that issue? That, okay, you want to control the world to talk to you in a nice way? How the world going to talk to you in a nice way? That's not a problem. Who cares anyone talk to you nice or not nice? And then Allah guide through Qur'an, I don't change a condition of a people, my family, me, my children, my relationship, until this person changes what's within themselves. We can't change the condition, 
talk to me nicer when we get together. You're always rude when you talk to me. That's not what Allah said. Allah said, you change yourself, I will change the condition around you. Because the reverse is the same. You're not changing yourself and I'm not changing your condition. Because you're playing now being stubborn with Allah, I'm not going to change. And Allah is saying, I'm not changing your condition. As a matter of fact, I'm going to send 10 people to be rude to you, 10 people to talk bad to you, 10 people that insult you. Why you want something, you, maybe you didn't identify you have pride, that you have all these characteristics. So then again, in summary, Allah makes a condition to happen. I divide that by me, not the other person, not anyone else. Allah wants to test me, what is that test about? What comes out of it? My words. These words, if I am true to myself and write them, contemplate on these words, you'll find the characteristic. Those faults and bad characteristics, if you address them and identify them, acknowledge your sickness by them, Allah begin to change your condition. Because you realize to yourself, Ya Rabbi, I'm a jealous person. Take this desire from my eyes. Don't let me to be jealous of people. There's a, there's a, a remedy for every sickness. When I have enmity, when I have anger, when I have pride, there are ways in which to work on that characteristic. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us and give us a correct understanding. So 36 divided by 9 brings out the secret of 4. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.